Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's understand the difference between artificial intelligence and generative AI. The two terms are closely related, but they are not the same. In fact, generative AI is actually a type of AI, one that focuses on something very specific, creating new content. Let's start on the left side of the diagram, where we see artificial intelligence or AI. Artificial intelligence is a broad field in computer science focused on building systems that can perform tasks that usually require human intelligence. These tasks include things like recognizing speech, understanding language, making decisions and analyzing data. For example, when your phone understands a voice command or when a smart assistant sets a reminder, that's AI in action. When Google Maps finds the fastest route or when your email sends spam to the junk folder, those are traditional AI systems processing information and making intelligent choices. Now let's shift to the right side of the diagram where we see generative AI. Generative AI is a subset of artificial intelligence. Its focus not just recognizing patterns but creating entirely new ones. In other words, it doesn't just understand content, it generates content. Think of tools like ChatGPT which can write essays, stories or emails or DALI which creates images from text descriptions or AI music tools that compose songs or code assistants that generate programming functions on demand. Here is the key difference. Traditional AI might detect that an image contains a cat. But generative AI can actually create a picture of a cat that never existed before, based entirely on a prompt. Traditional AI might read and summarize an article. Generative AI can write a brand new one Traditional AI filters spam. Generative AI writes the newsletter. Let's look at the core capabilities side by side. On the AI side, we see classification, prediction, recommendation, language understanding, and pattern recognition. These are the building blocks of smart systems designed to process, analyze, and respond. On the generative AI side, we see text generation, image creation, code generation, audio and music composition, and even 3D modeling. These systems don't just process inputs, they produce original outputs, often at human quality levels. Now take a look at the technology behind them. Both rely on machine learning, but generative AI uses a something more specific. Deep learning and large language models, trained on massive datasets, and fine-tuned to predict and generate outputs word by word or pixel by pixel. So to summarize the diagram, AI is the umbrella term, a broad category of technologies that make machines smart. Generative AI lives under that umbrella, and it's focused on creativity, content, and new ideas. You might think of it like this. If AI is the brain that can understand, generative AI is the hand that can create. And while generative AI is still evolving, it's already changing how we write, design, build, and communicate. From business to art, code to customer service, this branch of AI is helping humans go further, not by replacing creativity, but by amplifying it. That is the difference between artificial intelligence and generative AI, explained side by side. 